Hey guys, we're back. This isn't complete. Uh, we have a couple more steps that we're going to be taking, but we have made some progress. So we have some helpers here too. This is Phoenix, and she likes to play around sometimes, so she gonna hang out with us. So I was afraid that I wasn't gonna able to get this bladder actually down the stairs. I have a 30 inch wide gap, but I was able to get it. Actually, most of the strength in these structures in the corners here. So once you take off the top in the corners, it uh, really, it really lose a lot of, loses a lot of its rigidity. What I was able to do is uh, here I'll kind of give you a little. Got one of those as seen on TV lights. Very bright and it's directional, so you can move that around as, as you please. So what I did here was uh, I basically took a pipe pipe cutter, cut it down all the way around, took a jigsaw and cut the bladder off top and uh, was able to get down the stairs, like I said. Now, what I'm going to do is use this 44 gallon brute trash can uh, as my bio filter. Because of the height of this trash can, I was not able to uh, really follow through with the plans that I had originally with this. So what I had to do was go get a pallet uh, to raise this up a little bit more, about five or six inches so that it's uh you know a, a few inches uh up there so basically I, I plan on filling this up to about 175 gallons right about there i'll show you the system here so this is what we're looking at got an 800 gallon per hour pump right here i'm using pvc fittings i'm going to take this pvc fitting and right here is where it begins. So this is where the pump will start, in the base of the trash can. It's going to flow up, come through this elbow here, this way, go into the tank in the corner, access right here in this T. I'll explain this here in a little bit, and then the exit flow is gonna come down into the tank, and I'm going to direct it to give some uh, flow. I'm also gonna have an overflow and so this is gonna be basically like a little net pot. It's gonna allow large debris to come in. Oh look, she wants to. It's gonna allow large debris to come in and uh, basically gravity's gonna do all the work. And then through the bottom, we have another fitting. So this all has a purpose. Let's get started. What I'm gonna do is filter this biomedia with a bunch of nylon scrubbies and plastic okay so this is a high pressure system however i tested it earlier and i'm not going to seal this particular fitting um, this particular fitting on the actual pump doesn't need to be sealed it's going to be underwater as well uh, but the rest of them i will seal but i'm going to put them together first and get a test going just so we can see everything how it works Looks like I am going to have to put another piece of PVC or something in here to hold this other bracket from, it from falling. I can see that happening. Just a loose fit for now. Again, like I said, I'm going to have to have something uh, here to hold it in place when I'm doing that as soon as I let go from all the weight there. The last thing is getting this elbow on there to kind of give the flow a direction down there and kind of get some stirring going on. 
Anyway, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna figure something out, making sure this stays where it needs to be. Either something there or something there. Probably something there. It's a mostly gravity system. The only thing it'll have plugged in here is the pump. This will also work as the aerator, and hopefully we can get that to work in shape. So this is the overflow. This is going to go over this coupling basically. And this is gonna be flush up against here. So like I said, probably about 280 gallons or so. Right around here. Right in here, it's gonna overflow. I'm gonna have this kind of like that. This is gonna be on the other side. It's a receiver and a pipe. Another three quarter PVC pipe will just go straight into this trash can. Now, I don't have them yet, but I'll have these filter socks here, 200 micron filter socks that this overflow is gonna go straight into that filter sock, as well as the gravity system down here that I'm about to show you. This receiver down to a three quarter inch. Then you take that three quarter inch elbow right there, hook some garden hose up to it, and bam, you got a system right there. So I'll show you what that looks like real quick. Just real quick. And that will obviously go on there. So when you get done, got a system like that. Gravity should be doing all the work here. Uh, with all of the weight from 200 gallons or so, or almost 200. This is also gonna go into a 200 micron sock. So I'll have one down here going into a 200 micron sock. And then I'll have one right here as the overflow going into a 200 micron sock. The idea for me was, there's a lot of stuff that, that skims up top and hopefully we're gonna get a good enough flow that it's gonna be moving things around. However, I've seen a lot of uh, tutorial videos and people saying that a lot of dust and dirt and debris catches in the corners of these IBC totes particularly because they're corners, they're not, they are rounded a bit, but they're still corners, you know? And so hopefully the idea is this is gonna flow, move, stir everything up and then gravity will also force everything down through here in addition to right here. Some handy tools that you might need, not required, but very handy. PVC cutter, very handy. Um, I'm gonna try with this heat gun. And then also right here, RV marine water filter. Uh, that's so we don't have to mess with chlorine and all that. And some extra PVC pipe, just in case. One other thing, I don't know why. You give her a box or a bag, that's what she does. <laughs> oh, I never told so, I forgot to mention what this says. I uh, am attempting to use these to make a gasket um, for the inside and outside to make a seal here. Um, hopefully what I'm gonna do is Cuts a slit in a small hole and use the heat gun to hopefully uh, shove that PVC through. So we'll see what we can do. This is a backup option. Okay, this is somewhere around the line I would like. So this is the biggest drill bit that I have, unfortunately, so. I think my idea is going to work. Okay, basically let it harden like that. It feels like it kind of threaded it a little bit. So that's nice, that, that worked out nicely. Um, heat gun, future reference, 
works great because this is already it's still very it's still pretty hot but it's already hardened and that's gonna that's gonna work out perfectly okay so I, I have a feeling that we won't have a perfect seal right here so I do think that I'm going to use this as a gasket pretty brittle actually let's cut this out a little bit bottom part won't have the best uh, seal right up in here but the rest of it will I mean it's not perfect that's for sure but just as a test let's see if we can put it on there without breaking it with this heat gun again I'm just going to make sure we do it with some uh, pliers breaking and we still have some ways to go see it's starting to tear okay we're back we got these should be a little bit easier to use I think they're children's scissors but Yeah, I'm just shaving just a little bit off, just to make it big enough. There we go. That one felt a little better actually. There we go. We're gonna have to get that hot again just to get this through. But that looks like it'll create a decent seal right there, actually. And I'll just put a bead of silicone around it here. So Okay, so it's actually pretty decently tied up there by itself and I had to burn myself to do it. But, I like it, I like how it fits. So that right there, I'm not sure about. It only has a few threads coming out. But, you know what? It's actually enough gonna be perfect actually I don't even think I have to seal that we'll see if it drips but I really don't think it's going to of course the fitting right here just a net pot basically I'm just gonna slide down hopefully I don't need to uh, glue it or anything it should just stay on like that and this is the overflow. Okay, so this is where we want to take a PVC pipe and route it to there as a discharge, overflow discharge. So basically what I'm going to do is cut a little shorter piece, 
angle it this way. Probably cut about a four inch piece there and then see what's behind it. I'm not measuring, just winging it. I love this. This tool is great. And then, let's say to about there. You can always cut more off, that's the thing. And then we have something kind of like that. What I will have is these, like I said, these 200 micron, 200 micron mesh uh, nets here to catch all the big debris. And the only thing that should be falling down there is cleaner water, and that'll get that good bacteria going as well. Kill all those nitrates that the main cause of those, killing those fish, right? One of the last things we have to do is Get this sealed up right here in this system, this gravity system back in the tank. Now, I have this quick drying cement that I'm not going to use yet. I want to get this system going. Uh, since this has a valve, this is really, uh, this one and the pond pump are the ones that I have to uh, cement because, well really, I don't think I have to cement anything here. We'll see. It's gravity, it's not a super high pressure system. What I am gonna do is thread that. The threads are a lot bigger than the inside of this. Obviously I can't put this in there, I'm not going to. Could, but I'm just going to thread this. And get this fitted on there nice and tight first. And then, We'll get this one smashed in there. Been a little excessive with this, but whatever. It's actually pretty good and tight, if you ask me. Okay. Okay, this is the one thing that I am going to put this quick dry stuff on. Did drip a little, not too big of a deal anyway. Uh, this stuff should be dry soon. If you did drip, just get some acetone. Okay, I'm gonna thread this one. And I should really get to start filling this up, shouldn't I? That's the moment of truth, isn't it? When you get to fill it up.
That's just the hose fitting, so I'm not too worried. This is what the system looks like. <coughs> Gravity, when I open this valve, should make the water flow up. Right in here, I might cut this a little more. Into this micron sock, same right here. This will overflow. The pump will be continuously working, pumping water in and aerating at the same time. And then if it pumps enough, we should be able to have overflow as well as flow down there. I have the ability to adjust it though if I need to. All right, I think we've, I think we're ready to make that leap. Okay, now let's try that again, huh? This is another addition I already made to just stabilize this to keep it from going everywhere. So we'll see how that works. As it pumps water up through this, it's creating somewhat of a high pressure system and it's going to bend around this T and go down. I have that cap on there, right? If that cap were just here, it would just bend around and go down. So that's still, still high pressure, right? What I'll do is put that cap on there. I'm drilling a hole in the cap and I'll insert that pin down there just below the line where it drops and starts bending down. So the pin will be right around here. What that'll do is create a vacuum low pressure system and it'll suck air through the tube and aerate at the same time. Okay, so I'm just gonna start small and step it up. Mm -hmm. Let's go right through the middle. Same thing here. And finally, the size that we want. So basically what we're gonna do is take your everyday pin. Uh, so take it apart, really we just need the tube, the internal tube part. Keep the end, in case you ever you want to use it as a cap, just like that. This is all we need right here. Looks like we're gonna have to go a, another step up with this. Perfect. We'll take our T system here. And basically when this is in there, we want this to be right around there, but we can still play with it too. And that's what we're gonna do. So all we have to do is put this in there. Clamp it down like that. That ain't going nowhere. There's not enough pressure for it to do too much. Okay, play with that. Okay, so we're nearing the point where it's about an inch and a half to two inches away 
from the overflow. So we're going to see a couple things. One, uh, if the overflow works, and two, if it leaks. So what I've done here is take your regular old Bissell vacuum. The reason I did that now as a test is all of the, from the cuttings that I did here, all the shavings are floating around and there's a bunch of stuff floating around actually. So, so if we see any dripping, it's gonna happen right down here. All right, now it is starting to drip out from the bag in here. It's actually pretty good flow now. Still no leaks right here. That's a really good sign. I'm really liking that. Okay, we are starting to get some water here actually. But for the sake of a test, I will uh, ignore that drip. Kind of give you a, sh uh, a little taste of what's going on here. Uh, before I turn the pump back on, I'll just show you what gravity has done here. So, open that. And there's a pretty decent flow to it, to be honest. There it goes. And if we uh, turn the pump back on, pump's going again. So that's your normal pump, right? Now, this Venturi aerator has, it's called the Venturi effect because watch what happens when I remove the cap. This just became an aerator now. See what I'm gonna, if I plug it, it goes back to just the flow. Let go. All those bubbles in there. I'll get you an underwater view too. But you can see here I've marked it long and short. And it does matter which way you have it. Right now. A little too low. I'm trying to find a sweet spot for it. But that's the system, guys. It's working pretty well right now. Uh, this is about to overflow again and that valve is completely open so we're going to have to uh, convert this to one inch tubing right here so when when it does begin to overflow like this it doesn't uh, continue to rise like it's been doing this seems to be the sweet spot kind of looking like it Okay guys, the system's complete basically. I gotta seal everything up, clean up a little mess and stuff, but I wanted to show you an underwater view of what the uh, Venturi system actually does, so. There's a little bit of bubbles coming up, but I'm gonna show you from underneath what this looks like. As soon as I take this cap off, you'll see what I'm talking about. 